Do you find yourself constantly fattening and thinning chips? If you do, watch this video on how I killed my chipping nips and made my short game the best part of my game by a country mile. Hi, Daryl Guyan, Fourteen and Zero Golf here. Um, I'm going to talk about chipping and the yips, chipping yips. I've suffered with that. You've seen my videos probably where I've suffered with putting yips, but with my chipping yips, these were particularly horrendous, like hitting a green when I was next to them was a problem. Um, when I was young, I wasn't a good chipper anyway, but I realised after a while that I was just I didn't practice enough. Technique was all right, so. Then it got to the point where I was chipping in, in practice at home and my chipping was beautiful, you know? But what was going on? I had to have a real dig and think, what is going on and why is this happening? So what I come to in the end was, I set out a plan where I was gonna stick to this plan regardless of what happened. So first point that I'd done with the chipping was I was gonna commit to accelerate them from the top of the back so we've got set an next foot target yeah so obviously with chip yips a lot of people they obviously get further and further back and they're digging but one of the main things I find is rhythm so they're literally like you can get I remember doing ones where I'd be like stubbing it out there and binning it and then there'd be another I'd feel confident and end up duffing it I can't even duff it because my missus will kill my, me for killing her lawn but um, what I committed to this was the first lesson getting to the top and accelerating until this point literally I just thought whatever I do I am coming through that ball and what I realised then was it didn't matter if I didn't make a good bad contact, I duffed it, the ball's gonna get there. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna maybe not be as good. So I stopped worrying about exactly putting it close and just getting that contact, which was let's get a contact and follow through right to the end. So we get to the top of the back swing, follow through. And that one I duffed, but it's actually hit the target dead. And same again. That was it. That was number one. Number two, I've done videos on this before, metronome, getting my pace, finding a comfortable pace and keeping up with it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Just a couple of extra things to um, kind of mention that I didn't mention during the chipping. Um, obviously, lesson number one, commit all the way to the follow through. That helped me so much. Lesson number two, work on your rhythm. I use a metronome set at 80 to 82 beats per minute. Lesson three, different to the putting yips where I said do not over practice. Lesson three in chipping yips, you can never practice chipping too much. Number four, something I love doing, same as holding three foot putts gives you confidence because of the noise, I chip into a bucket. There's nothing like the confidence of over and over chipping into this bucket and it's a bit easier to do than getting the landing right and everything. And five, work on your putting. It will take pressure off of your chipping. Good luck. Mm -hmm.